One of the great challenges in Ted Kennedy's life has been to live up to people's idealized memories of his brothers Jack and Bobby. Most people would say that's, that's an impossible task. You know, they're, they're dead, they were martyred, they've been sort of sanctified and politicalized. Everything that Ted did felt, you know, less idealistic, less charming, less charismatic. It forever cast him in a, in a light as the, the Kennedy that sort of taught us about human frailties rather than the Kennedy who had immortal talent. One of the things that I think is most uh, ironic about that trap that Ted Kennedy was in is that he himself played a large role in creating the idealized images of his brothers that later came to burden him. Jack Kennedy ran for president as a centrist, not a liberal. In fact, as president, he was considered to be sort of slow on certain issues, including civil rights. And there have been, you know, whole books written about how Kennedy had kind of dropped the ball on civil rights. And yet, after he died, it, it was Ted Kennedy who turned Jack Kennedy into a liberal. It was Ted Kennedy who, in advocating for the 1964 Civil Rights Act, declared that his brother's last wish, dying wish as president, uh, was to see this act go through. And turned something that many people had perceived to be a weakness in Jack Kennedy into, into a strength, into a sign of his courage. Channeling everybody's grief for Jack Kennedy into the civil rights cause, had a major substantive effect in getting that bill through. It also had an effect in burnishing Jack Kennedy's reputation as a statesman. So in that way, Ted was helping to create uh, an, an image of Jack Kennedy that, that he later couldn't compete with. So I come to you for your help. Similarly, Bobby Kennedy, uh, earlier in his career, um, had been primarily a prosecutor. At one time, he had worked with the infamous Joe McCarthy. He was far from uh, a warm and fuzzy figure. You know, he was considered the, sort of the enforcer for, for Jack Kennedy. The ruthless Bobby was kind of expunged from everyone's memory with Ted Kennedy's eulogy. To be remembered simply as a good and decent man who saw wrong and tried to right it, saw suffering and tried to heal it, saw war and tried to stop them. Those words turned Bobby into a knight in shining armor out there when that was never really the role that he played politically until really his final campaign. And yet again, just like he did with Jack, you know, Ted was sort of creating this idealized figure that, that later people would criticize him, Ted, for not, not living up to those standards.